the Democratic Republic of Congo could be about to have its first democratic transition of power. For many Congolese, opposition presidential candidate Felix Tshisekedi represents their best chance for political change. Our president returned to the country today, and that is why we came here. Because we know we will help Felix Tshisekedi become the head of this country after winning these elections. Felix will be the president who will lead the country of tomorrow. We are the winning ticket, as you have heard everywhere. I'm not just saying it randomly. On December 23, the DRC heads to the polls. It's an election which is two years overdue. There's a field of 21 presidential candidates, but these are the key players in the election. Joseph Kabila, he's been president since 2001 and was meant to leave office in 2016 when his mandate expired, but clung to power. His chosen successor is Emmanuel Ramazani Shadari. He'll head the ticket for the ruling Common Front for Congo coalition. He's a former interior minister who is under EU sanctions for alleged human rights violations. His main opposition contender was going to be Martin Fayulu, a parliamentarian and former oil executive representing the Lamuka opposition coalition. But a split in the opposition just weeks ago means there's now another choice for voters. But not everyone's happy. We need to recognise that these people, the opposition, are fickle. They say one thing in the morning and another in the afternoon. It's sad. It shows immaturity on the part of Mr Tshisekedi. Felix Tshisekedi is the son of late veteran opposition campaigner Etienne Tshisekedi. He's running on a joint ticket representing his Union for Democracy and Social Progress Party, along with the Union for the Congolese Nation Party. The opposition is united in its concern about Election Day. There are 46 million registered voters. This will be their first time using electronic tablets to cast votes. But that's going to be difficult, as only 9% of households have electricity. Despite worries about the credibility of the voting process, opposition groups say people must be given an opportunity to go to the ballot box. The state of mind is that we must, at all costs, wrestle a democratic alternative. That is to say, to achieve this, we need elections. The DRC is one of Africa's poorest nations, but it is also one of the most resource-rich. Kabila has ruled it for almost two decades, he took over from his father, who was assassinated. This election will be the first leadership change voted on by the electorate. But will it be a political era that breaks from the past, or one that continues to be connected to the Kabila legacy? Natalie Pohonen, The Newsmakers.